Hey Rita, I can see you are powering through today. So I'm just on my lunch break, so I'll just have a look at this for you. Uh, is your exam at the weekend? Um, let me know. I think it could be. Okay, so nowadays, uh, most green energy is becoming ever more prevalent. So we need to show we understand this word. Some argue they reduce costs. Others believe there are threats to security. Now, interestingly, um, you are talking about uh, security like uh, terrorism, I think somewhere, yeah. Um, the other thing is um, obviously secure, um, like the reliability. So if there's, if it's raining, or oh, sorry, if it's not sunny, you won't get solar power. So we can take this in different ways, this word. There's no doubt the trend of using environmentally friendly energy has become profoundly popular worldwide. Good. Ever more prevalent. Really good. Uh, to be strictly speaking, popular is not the same as prevalent. Has been profoundly... Hmm, has become widely used is more a synonym for, for prevalent if we're going to be really, really sort of exact here. Okay. Although it's sometimes thought that it has a significant impact on the environment, others think this source of energy might cause danger to society. Mm, that's sort of impact on, like, positive or negative, I want to go here. Positive impact. You need to be specific. Impact on the environment. Others argue, so don't use think and thought. Argue that this source of energy might cause danger. You need to be more specific. Um, so you're saying security, okay, might be unreliable or in danger of a terrorist or vulnerable to terrorist attacks. Okay, be really, really careful here. When you paraphrase, it's just something I've been doing with my students this morning in class, actually. Be very careful when you paraphrase, don't be really exact. It's not causing a danger to society. It could, or if it is, you need to tell me why. It may be unreliable, yeah, that would be dangerous, or vulnerable to terrorists, terrorist attacks. But be specific here. Don't just change the question. Now, it's not asking you if you're, oh, it is. Sorry, uh, it's more level. So it, it is never depleted or deplete and more eco friendly. Yeah, you might, because it's such a long word, you might be able to go more eco friendly down. Okay, all right, let's have a look here. One reason why it's often believed renewable energy covers extra manufacturing nations is that, okay, this is brr. Like, I don't think you need to repeat this whole thing. Okay, one reason why it is why sustainable energy is considered mm. or I, I just feel we're repeating a little bit of what you've already said Um, one reason why it's believed that when you do you see what I mean? That whole line feels like it's a little bit similar to this. So, um, fear, let's change it around. Fear of breaching a country's security is often one key reason cited for, uh, cited as a detrimental cited as possibly having or having a potentially detrimental effect on nations. Okay, uh, fear of breaching security. Let me just put this in a different color because you're going to be thinking, what is she doing? Uh, nations globally. Okay, so what I've tried to do here is I think this is a very long way round, and I feel this is a little bit repetitive of what you said there. So rather than starting with one reason as your subject, start with this. Start IELTS like strong nouns. So start with 
fear of breaching security. That is your subject. All that is your lovely subject. It's often monkey reason cited, so quoted as, yeah, having a potentially detrimental effect on nations globally. Okay, that sentence is super high level, but the most important thing I want you to remember is I've changed. Uh, so I've got this strong noun as my subject, which takes me into a passive verb. So is often cited. That is going to get me more marks in terms of grammar. Okay, in terms of sentence structure and in terms of grammar. This means terrorists could easily target these energy sources, threatening citizens. For example, nuclear power is considered to be a national threat as terrorists may attack and start their suicidal operations on these resources. Well, nuclear power isn't a threat. Could be seen as a risk or could be seen, it's not a threat, could be seen as a risk, uh, comma, resulting in major explosions, putting hundreds of innocent lives at risk uh, into the air, which could in the long run be, you're making a suggestion here, could in the long run be problematic as this oh that's a very long sentence you need to have res, you need to you can't start with resulting in that's your problem there um you could start with um this could result in or this could uh, result in but you can't start with resulting in resulting in comes in the middle of the sentence not at the beginning so you'd have to put it like that Okay, especially children. Is that the cost for having any product relation to use security is absolutely good. Um, investing money in improvement is much better than wasting funds on our unreliable projects. So are you saying here that that green energy is unreliable? Be careful, be careful, be careful. Um, you've said here it's more reliable. And then here you're saying it's unreliable. So I'm getting confused. Okay, you don't want your reader to be confused at all. Um, I get this. This could be a result in major explosions putting lives at risks, risk from the release of radioactive material. And I'd stop there. Okay, we know that, but I don't think you need that here. I'd rather you expand it on this. And I wouldn't go another point to consider. I would just put very simply, additionally. It's kind of higher level. Additionally, the cost of establishing is high. So additionally, the cost yeah, is high. So see what we're trying to do in that paragraph. I hope that's clear. Um, just be careful. There's some inconsistencies. So uh, nuclear power as a national threat, no. It could be a target for terrorists, but it's not a national threat. And watch out here where you've got unreliable, then they're reliable. You seem to contradict yourself. Okay. Admittedly, it's widely believed that green energy is considered clean. Absolutely. Since it does not emit any carbon, in contrast to uh, carbon, in contrast, keep going here, in contrast to fossil fuels, comma, which release high levels of greenhouse gases, sugar, absolutely. The emission of these types of gases to the air could have a detrimental effect on so that, yeah, therefore, considering, yeah, um, considering using clean energy would result in that you need a verb in. Um, not that form, Res would result in. So considering doing this would result in this type of energy. Cut back, well, which, hang on, hang on, hang on. Careful, reader. So it's the, it's the, CO2 the sulfur is the, is the fossil fuels. these types of gases to the air which contain sulfur da 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 this sentence needs to fit up into here because then you're saying considering clean energy would result in cutting my air pollution and then this type of energy the last energy you've mentioned is this one clean energy but that's not right for clean energy but that is right for the fossil fuels, which you've mentioned back up here. This is to do with a coherence. Don't rush, okay? Really, really don't rush. Where's the planning? Plan your essay carefully. What are you trying to say here? You're jumping around a little bit from idea to idea. Really be careful, Rita. You can do it, but this is kind of seeming a little bit rushed. Um, 
Yes, these types of energy. Okay, yeah, exactly, these ones. Yeah, you don't need to say that because that's that's not your, for instance, we don't want that example. Yeah, that's fine. Um, these sources of energy um, from solar panels and wind turbines, let's get some specific vocab in here, are renewable, meaning they last night. Okay, good. Um, so you don't need to, you're jumping back. Fossil green, fossil green, fossil green, and that's making me really confused. Uh, it's perhaps true cause conflicts. Well, uh, you'll get, I mean, could present some risk. It's not talking about conflict. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, we don't consume energy. Well, we kind of do, don't we? Um, re um, resorting to investing in might be better as a price and yeah absolutely so that's fine on your conclusion read through this again and see what you think yeah see how you just redo that paragraph and see 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 how you think it could be improved okay you're not going to score more marks for writing a lot um you will lose marks for mistakes yeah write me 300 perfect words absolutely fine yeah don't be don't think you have to keep going more and more Please believe me, I promise you. Uh, okay, I'll come back to you in a minute on the task one.